So in this International Co-Space Online Challenge, um, Adung Purwa Nearati from Antato Yogyakarta is going to um, doing the presentation. So my name is Adung Purwa Nearati. My nickname is Adung. I'm from Indonesia. Previous robotic competition that I joined first is Ahmad Dahlan Robotic Competition in May 2019 in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. And this is actually my first time joining the Space RoboCup virtual competition. This is my summary of uh, the preliminary challenge yesterday. I joined the category Co Space Rescue U19. The problem that I investigated first find the most efficient path to collect and deposit the objects. Second, to avoid the trap. The methods A. Speed and sensitivity of the robot to avoid the traps. B. Robots program to collect the objects and deposit it. The result that I've got. After evalu evaluating many cases by using the methods, the robot got better to move and more flexible to adjust it over the new maps but unfortunately I still can't reach 100 points 1000 points I'm sorry this is the analysis of the challenge the mission challenge the mission of the challenge first is how to program the robot and develop strategies second Find the most efficient path to collect the objects. Third, to avoid the trap. I separated the challenge into the mini tasks. Uh, the first mini task is to raise the speed and sensor sensitivity of the robot to save the time. And by activating this action, actually the robot can avoid the trap by its sensor properly. B, or the second mini task, is to program my robot to pick a lane from the map that has the most points around the robot position. Third, or the C, uh, the third mini task, is to program my robot to move its body to the deposit area. And then the AI algorithm first collecting the objects and avoiding the traps. I use the ultrasonic sensor for the first sensor for uh, the robot detecting the traps and the area's corner. And the second sensor is color sensor used for detect and collect the objects. This is the basic program logic when the robot start to move or, and then the robot find the deposit area of course it have it has to deposit but if the robot had collect the object first and then if the robot uh, find a trap, of course it has to avoid it. And when there is an object, it has to pick it up. And when there is an obstacle in 12 cm, of course it has to do a turn. But if the robot uh, doesn't find any classification of the action that, he, that, that it should avoid or do, it has to just move forward and for the debugging program uh, actually not everything planned was executed well the robot did well the base directions but still need to improve the complicated action the robot still hasn't used debug plan to make the program more constant conclusion and the further work my comment on the result 
The robot finally can did well the beast program, but compared to the result, I think the robot must have the certain program to make the robot can collect and deposit the objects properly as expected. If I were asked to solve the same challenge again, how would I improve the strategy? Of course, as mentioned above, the robot needs to constant its program, uh, program by adding and understanding more codes and plans. This is my learning experience. I learned the competition first and also how to program the robot from basic is from my teacher, although she is now distant with me. The second is through this competition, I recognized to make a good program, we should to have the grid skill and being completely understand what strategy that we want to, to create. The, and my message to the other participant, confidence and curiosity are the important points that would encourage you to understand more about something. Even though you have never studied it at all, keep your spirit to be experienced. That's all from me. Thank you.